Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Son of a bitch! Yep, knew it. Cole, What's up, y'all? It is Jay Cuddy, and welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. Now, we left off with this guy being shot dead, and I guess we have to investigate what happened. So, Hot let's get to it. Like crowded street. I've seen everything. Do we have any witnesses? Uh, oh. Hang on, wait, wait. <clears throat> Need to check his pockets. ID. Uh huh. Layaway ticket. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earring. Tony Galetta. The Bank of Arcadia. Yo, Tony Galetta. Uh. His neck's cracking when I turn it. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run into the shoe store. You want to take a look around oh. now? Excuse me, the witness can wait. He cheated. Got the perimeter. He cheated. We should make sure we check the whole crime scene before. Hey, ma'am. I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. No. Never mind. Mr. Gage. Might be Mr. wrong. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay. Witness details are on entered on the left. Questions are listed on the right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, brown, brown. Who's having a uh, female shoe? Store clerk, eyewitnesses to murder of Everett Cage. Okay. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Press three to accuse the witness of lying. Well, I can't really... I, I don't really have much evidence. I don't really have much evidence wait that isn't everything you haven't got it all hang on Let me look around a little bit circumstantial circumstantial okay nothing much, nothing much about that all right let's just look around a little bit more see if we get any more chimes private area okay Oh, wait. I'm seeing something glowing here. Bullet casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Hmm. Where's the gun? Does she still have it on her? Is there more eyewitnesses? Hey, oh, trash can. Over. Trash can. Moving, all of you. Trash can? We'll keep the witnesses on ice until you're ready, Cole. This is Why a crime a scene. Around? All of you move along. What's ding ding dinging? There's something ding dinging in here. Oh, it's a gun. <laughs> I was pressing uh, space. I, th I think she's the. FN Browning. Serial number 011138. Eagleson's gun now. store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Oh, we're about to get caught today. I'm borrowing, I'm borrowing this. I swear. <clears throat> Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. She looks like she. I don't. 
that not look like real emotion to me, you know? I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm iffy. I'm iffy. I'm doubtful. Woo! I'm, I'm very doubtful. I mean, I highly doubt she's that dumb and will shoot someone with her own gun, right? I highly doubt that. Like, right? Like, are you really going to be that dumb and shoot someone with your own gun? Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. Mm-hmm. We need you to trace a serial number. Uh, Detective sure. Cuddy also, right here. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Thank you, good sir. You look a nice man. Alright, so we're gonna head over to that jewelry store. I don't know how I doubt the, that dude killed him, so, but, you know, we're gonna have to check it out. So let's do that. Okay. We're here. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? No, sir. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Son of a bitch! Yep, knew it. Cole, go! Hurry, officer! Oh, I guess he did do it. Why? Why did he do it? He said, hurry, officer, he's running away. I know. I can clearly see him running. I know. Kalu, get back here! Be careful. I don't want to shoot him. Running. I think back. I think back in these days it was legal to do that, but I don't want to. Get that I want to catch him. Tackle. To meet Joe Too late, Kalu. Come here, boy. You're Get him. I'm catching up. Come here, boy. You don't get caught today. Someone help! I'm about to shoot his leg. I'm going to shoot his leg. He's pissing me off. I don't want to kill him, though. Why is he so fast? Don't get hit by a car. Wait! Come here, boy! Oh, I got him. I got him. Without using a sex of force. Good. That's how you be a cop. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Yes. I guess she was telling the truth. I'm sorry. The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The yeah. one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, the half leaps, and the half truths. Yes. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. You, How you talk to you the right man. How would you smiting this man with the sword of justice? Huh? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview? interview I am, young Phelps. Yes. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Yes, I Takes can, sir. animal coming, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Hell yeah. Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. Do I have permission to you kick ass? Many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. It's hard. If you fail in the former, 
You can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the ladder. How are you feeling, lad? I got it. Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I mean, we have we do have good evidence. We do. We he, he was literally on that book. And he, and he ran. There's no point in running. He didn't, why'd you Has run? My lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. All right, uh, Edgar Kalu, uh, Brown Brown, 39 male, jewelry store owner, and a murder suspect. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. He didn't say no. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. He, you didn't say no. Uh, remove an answer. Ask him to commute. Wait, what? Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs in interviews and interrogations. 98.6% of players choose correct answer after using an intuition on this question. What? Boy. You blew a man out of a socks over uh, an empty grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? Incorrect. That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff, and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Um. <laughs> I failed. I didn't know what to do. Oh, man. Ugh. I didn't, I didn't know the do. I'm new. Well, let's just... You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Take this L. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Time to get fined. <laughs> Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Wait, oh, so... The lawyer can't help you, Mr. Oh, Cole. so it just makes me start over? Cold blood. Good. You're going to have to pay for that. All right. All right, good. Let's talk about the shooting. Can I skip this? I already know, I already know what's going to happen. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry Oh, this is a, this is a tutorial. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're I'm sure my lawyer giving you chances. They're not telling the truth. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs. Interrogations. So, all right, I'll just use intuition then. Uh, select. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do it. Yeah, it's tutorial. Select, remove, and an answer to narrow down. Select, ask community for statistics on how other detectives approach this line of questioning. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, I want to remove an answer. It's a truth or a lie. All right, so. Let's talk about. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, so it's either the truth or a lie. Because it got rid of doubt. I mean, if you're getting rid of doubt, then wouldn't that, like... Isn't doubt, like... I think you're lying. Like, is that... That's kind of like doubt, so wouldn't, wouldn't he be telling the truth? I mean, that's what doubt's kind of like. Like, it's like, I, I don't know. I think you're not telling the truth. Shit. Come on, Mr. Kalu. Make this easier on yourself. Get it off your conscience. So he's lying. Dude, I don't I know. This is hard. I think I'll just do whatever you want because you're a nice guy. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. All right, can I skip this, dude? I'm pissed. I, I, I keep effing up, bro. <laughs> like, how would you Like, how would you know if they're telling a lie or the truth? Like, how would you know? That's, that's the thing. Like, how would you know? Like, I understand, like, he's, he looks nervous. Like, I know that. He looks, like, very nervous. He's not making eye contact with me. He's looking away. Every, and I, every time he talks, he looks away. Like, so, yeah. I mean, I guess that's how you can really tell. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 011. That's what I should be doing. Evidence! I owned a gun, yes. But, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. 
You can't prove I use my gun on Gage. Yeah, this is when evidence comes in. Okay. Uh, keep your evidence in mind during an interview in order to identify a false statement accusing an incorrect evidence. Make the witness more uncooperative. Could be. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you worked. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Possible religious motive. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? <laughs> you're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Mmm. Okay. Well, how do we know if Gage hated Jews? Possible motive of racial enmity between Kalu and Gage. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. What, what I do? Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Get in there and raise some lumps, boy! Oh my I god, I'm such a bad interrogator, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, right. He he cleaned the gun. Yeah, so if it was stolen a couple years ago, you had it. You had it, and it was... He said... He said it was cleaned a few weeks ago. So yeah, so he's, that's a big ass lie. It's, that's true. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you worked. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Doubt or truth? You <laughs> left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. Mm. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs. Took me a while, but I did it. <laughs> I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. I'll get May better God every time. Mercy. I will. May God have mercy on your soul, you murdering son of a bitch. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Detective Cody! I'm not good at confessions, though. All right, I'm <laughs> going to need to work on those skills. Confession skills are down the toilet. Com Police Academy. Uh, patrol. Com All right. The driver's seat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. 
Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. <laughs> Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right, y'all. I'm in the episode here. I'm not too good at confessions. <laughs> I need to get better at them, that's for sure. Oh, my God. It, it took me like three tries. Four tries, I think. <laughs> it, was, it was tough for me. Well, thank y'all for watching the episode. Like comment and give me a subscribe. I love each and every one of you and always remember to love yourself. Cut it out.